a campus quad surrounded by buildings. Welcome to the residence quad. The buildings actually surround the quad and it kind of makes a bubble within the city. So you get the real college campus feel while also being in the heart of Boston. Charlie Sinote, student admission representative. They slash them slash theirs. As you can see right behind me is Simmons Hall, which is one of three first year housing options on campus. The front entrance to a brick building. A porch overhang is supported by Greek columns. A bed in a dorm room with a strand of fairy lights on the wall and several pillows on the bed. The front one says relax. This is a typical dorm room. We provide everything you might need. There's beds, dressers, underbed storage, closets. Um, you can really make the room your own. The students here hung up fairy lights. There's their lovely comforters. They have a ghost shark sign. It's a really lovely space. You can also coordinate anything you want with your roommate. So when you get a roommate, you can decide, oh, I'm going to bring a mini fridge. Oh, I'm going to bring this. Several bathroom stalls and a row of sinks. There's bathrooms on every single floor. They are communal and co-ed, and they're cleaned Monday through Friday by the facilities. Washing machines. There are laundry machines on every floor. They are coin operated, and you also can use your student ID or a credit card. So there's so many different ways to pay. Leather type chairs in a lounge face a fireplace. Some of the places you can hang out besides your dorm room are actually the lounges that are in every single residence hall on campus. There's so many things that happen in these lounges. People are just hanging out doing homework. There's events that are hosted by the residence advisors. My RA, my first year, actually hosted a guacamole making event. So we all made guacamole and then ate it together. So, so tasty. Vintage photos, one of people at a long dining table, a brick residence hall, a path between brick buildings, a sign above an entrance, Bartel Hall. So this is Bartel Hall, which is the dining hall on the residence campus. It works through the meal plans. So all you need to do is swipe in with your ID and it's all you care to eat. It's open every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with small breaks in between. And there's so many food options for you. There's a dedicated vegan station, gluten-free station. There's a grill with burgers, french fries, pizza, for allergies, the head chefs are there to help you with any accommodations you might need and make sure that you have something that you're able to eat. A counter with containers of cereal, gluten-free snacks, and two glass jars of granola bars. If you're ever out late at night on the weekend, Bartle Late Nights open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until 2 a.m. It's an awesome place to get together with your friends at the end of the week. Steps go up to a building with a sign, Alumni Hall. A sign above a door with a porch overhang. Health Center. Our health center is located on the residence campus and it's fully staffed by registered nurses who are available for same day appointments. So you call in the morning and you can get an appointment later on in that day. They also offer referrals to any of the Boston hospitals that are quite literally across the street. So if you need to see a specialist, they can refer you out. On the academic campus, we have the counseling center, which has counselors, psychiatrists, and resources for any mental health needs. Several large brick buildings across a quad. The home sports center is the athletic facility on the residence campus. Students have access to a pool, a gymnasium, a floating track, weight and cardio rooms, and then also dance studios. The dance studios are home to our Fit at Simmons courses, which are taught by Simmons students. They include Zumba, yoga, spin classes, and so much more. And they're available, you just pop on in, you don't even have to register. Sign painted below ceiling, Simmons Athletics, with a shark mascot with a ferocious face. Simmons is also a D3 school. We have nine varsity sports. If you're not interested in the competitiveness of a varsity sport, you can also join an intramural team through the College of Fenway. I played rugby through the Wentworth rugby team, and it was a really great way to meet people outside of Simmons and expand my community. A pathway between buildings. A four-story brick building next to a quad. Simmons cares a lot about public safety. We actually have offices on the residence campus and the academic campus. If you ever want an escort between the two campuses, say you're studying late at night at the library, public safety is more than happy to offer that to you. We also operate under the blue light system. So if you're ever feeling unsafe on campus, you can just hit this button and somebody will be there to help you. They have a three second response time. Points to a button on a call box on a quad. We're also one of the few gated communities in the Boston area. So at 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., all the gates will close and you just have to tap in with your student ID through the public safety office. It's not to like keep you out or keep you in or anything. It's just to make sure that anybody who's not supposed to be here is not here. A wall light outside a building. A metal placard that says 1958. Honestly, I loved my time living on campus, and it was such a great part of my Sims experience. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Thank you for touring with me today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Text, UGADM at Simmons.edu, logo, a tree in a circle with the date 1899, the 18 on the left of the trunk and the 99 on the right of the trunk. Around the outside of the circle, Simmons University. Boston, Massachusetts.
Text, Simmons University, Boston, Massachusetts, established 1899.